Hi, I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive. In two weeks from this coming Sunday, we commemorate a day that is on our calendar every year and it now has a, a, an important recollection for us that will last uh, through all time. We reached September 11th on the calendar, two weeks from Sunday, and that day, of course, evokes what happened on September 11th uh, in the uh, terrorist attack on the United States in which the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and in a field over Shanksville, Pennsylvania, uh, terrorism wreaked havoc and caused over 3,000 deaths of Americans. It's been 21 years since that day, but we don't forget that day. Those of us certainly who are alive and active as adults understand the importance of that day. But that day is not just a time to commemorate those who have died, both who died that day and those who we lost to 9-11 related illnesses, who worked on the pile uh, and, and did the reconstruction work that was essential, but also to try to find some deeper meaning and to try to turn that day into a day of service and remembrance as, as well. We're very fortunate in Worcester County to work alongside Volunteer New York, uh, some very talented individuals who donate their time and energy and efforts, and also with those corporations that have a great sense of social consciousness to make 9-11, September 11th, and in fact the full weekend, September, 10th, uh, September Saturday the 10th, and Sunday, September 11th, days of service as well as days of remembrance. We're here with uh, representatives of Volunteer New York to uh, talk about what's going to happen over that weekend, which you can be a part of. You can participate and give service back to the community in a way that's substantive so that our remembrance of 9-11 is not just a sad remembrance, but a hopeful remembrance for the days to come. I'm joined uh, by uh, uh, Jeanette Gisbert, who is Volunteer New York Executive Director. She's going to speak to us in just a second. Along with me as well as Dan Singer, who is the President and CEO of Robeson Oil. They are a major sponsor of 9-11 Serve and Remember. Robeson, a major corporation uh, here in Westchester County that we're very appreciative of uh, their work in the business community and now in their, uh, in their social efforts. We're joined uh, in the studio as well by Nicole Lawrence, who is 9-11 Serve and Remember Manager for Volunteer New York. She's going to do all of the legwork that's going to help alongside of uh, Jeanette's work. Tony Fasciano, who's Communications Director for Volunteer New York, and we're here today uh, with his energy and effort. And Felix uh, Tapia, who's Robeson Oil and, and a Volunteer New York board member. So all of their efforts uh, are critical in, uh, in helping this day uh, come to pass. And of course, we're joined by Ken Jenkins, who's our deputy county executive and a part of our executive team. So first, Jeanette, tell us a little bit about the programs that Volunteer New York has set up for this weekend. Thank you so much, County Executive. We're so grateful for your many years of partnership. Uh, so good morning. My name is Jeanette Gisbert. I'm the Executive Director at Volunteer New York, and it's my privilege to be here this morning to talk a little bit more about what will be happening uh, for this 9-11. Uh, for over 70 years, Volunteer New York has worked in partnership with hundreds of local nonprofit organizations to inspire individuals to get off the sidelines and volunteer in their community. Last year, we inspired over 37,000 individuals, families, and groups to volunteer throughout Westchester, Rockland, and Putnam counties. Combined, these volunteers contributed over 388,000 hours of service to more than 500 local nonprofit organizations at a value of over $13.7 million back to our community. As the county executive mentioned, this year marks the 21st anniversary of 9-11, and each year I can't help but reflect on the extraordinary effort of the 9-11 families who worked so relentlessly to see September 11th designated as a national day of unity and of doing good. For the past 12 years, Volunteer New York has taken that national call to action and planned and implemented a community-wide action day right here in our community, providing you, uh, Westchester, Putnam, and Rockland residents, the opportunity to join thousands of individuals across the country to honor the memories of those lost on 9-11. But as we get further and further away from that tragic day in 2001, fewer will remember the spirit of unity, of togetherness, compassion that arose in the aftermath of 9-11. And whether you were there or you saw it on television or have learned about it in the classroom, this is a day we must always remember. And so 9-11 Serve and Remember is an opportunity, an opportunity to pause and do a good deed, to make a difference to remember how thousands came together, helping each other through tragedy. 
This year, I propose that 9-11 Serve and Remember offers yet another opportunity, an opportunity to take perhaps that first step towards reconnecting with your community by volunteering alongside your neighbors. We invite you to join us in service this September in the spirit of remembrance, in the spirit of unity, in the spirit of resiliency, and of community. This year's 21st anniversary will uh, take place on Saturday, September 10th and Sunday, September 11th. We will have over 25 family-friendly projects available. Projects on September 10th will take place at various nonprofits throughout the region. Projects on September 11th will take place in two volunteer hubs, one at Iona University in New Rochelle and the second at the Shames JCC in Terrytown. None of these efforts would be possible without the support of local partners who understand the impact people power has on community. There has been no stronger supporter year after year for 9-11 Serve and Remember from the business community than Roberson Oil and the Singer family, and they once again are this year's major sponsor. I'd also like to thank and acknowledge event sponsors Empire City Casino by MGM Resorts with special part thanks to media sponsor 95.5 K-Love 96.7 Air One Radio and project sponsors Love It First WPP, WBP Development, that was a tongue twister, and Webster Bank. In planning this year's event, we've been fortunate to continue to work with the extraordinary team at the Westchester County, especially their communications team, the communications director, Catherine Chaffee, and the dynamic duo of Joe Scamato and Chelsea Pagano. And by we, I do not mean me, massive thanks to Nicole Lawrence, our 9-11 program manager, and our amazingly talented director of communications, Tony Fasciano. In observance of the 21st anniversary of 9-11, we and our partners invite you to help us honor the memories of those lost by joining your community for a day of service, of unity, of remembrance. I hope you will join us for this demonstration of the impact of collective community action. All of the details and links to register can be found at volunteernewyork.org, and you can also call us at 914-948-4452. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jeanette. And we're going to remind you again of the website and the phone number uh, as we close out our, our comments in just a few minutes. Next, I'd like to ask Dan Singer to share some of his thoughts. He is the president and CEO of Robeson Oil. And uh, as a corporate executive, he has responsibilities for the proper running of his business in a complicated field of energy. And yet, at the same time, he and members of his organization, uh, and, and we would have been joined as well by his brother David Singer, who was unable to make it for us today, to, uh, to show their corporate sense of responsibility on a day like 9-11 and through the programs that uh, Jeanette and the Volunteer New York is, uh, is undertaking. So we appreciate that you're here, Dan, and we appreciate your thoughts. Uh, thanks, County Executive, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll be brief. I just would want to say how honored and, and proud we are to be a partner with Volunteer New York and be part of this Day of Remembrance, uh, serving and remembering. Um, there's very few moments in my life, I'm sure everybody can relate, where you just remember where you were when something happened. Um, I remember the day I got married vividly. I remember the day my children were born. And one of those days that sticks out is 9-11. And um, we all certainly remember how we mourn for the loss and the tragedy that happened. But for me, what sticks out is all the people that came out and served that day, the firefighters that bravely went into the buildings that everybody was running out of and the police uh, first responders that, that were there. Um, and some way or another, just as no different than the way, well, certainly very different, but some similar in the way that would honor my children by celebrating their birthday as a momentous uh, day in my life. This day, which we all remember so well, um, there's really no better way to honor the memory of those that served than by finding ways for us to serve ourselves. Um, and it's, it's almost uh, too small of a gesture for those of us to, to come out, find a couple of hours of our time to um, pay honor to those that gave their lives to try to help others. Um, so Ro at Robeson, we're really proud to be a part of this day. We really appreciate all the work uh, that Volunteer New York does to put this together. And uh, thanks for allowing us to be part of it. Thank you very much, Dan Singer, uh, President and CEO of Robeson Oil. Um, before we close out, we want to encourage you, first of all, again, to go to the website, volunteernewyork.org, 
and you'll see a list of different programs uh, that are available for you to volunteer for on both those days, Saturday, September 10th, Sunday, September 11th. Uh, and you can sign up for them. You can get information. You'll probably be talking to either Jeanette or to Nicole uh, to match up what, what works best for you. As, as Jeanette mentioned, there are two uh, hubs out of which the efforts will happen on the eastern or south shore side of the county at Iona University in New Rochelle on North Avenue. Over in Tarrytown, uh, the Shames JCC, which is located on Broadway in Tarrytown, just off of 287. Both are easily reachable locations and uh, will be an opportunity for you to be able to uh, get some of the, uh, uh, the direct action. And I think Jeanette made one particularly good point to mention. We've gone through two years of COVID, and there's been sort of a diaspora that we've all experienced. Uh, the, the unwillingness to you know, congregate because we're concerned about the virus spreading. We, we believe that we're in a better place today than we were two years ago, and this is a great time to reconnect, to become part of a volunteer effort with other people. And you find strength in that when you're with other people toward a, toward a common purpose. Um, I, I've often uh, thought about some of the lessons I've learned as a young person and uh, when I was young all those years ago. And uh, I remember once uh, I borrowed my father's car uh, as a late teenager and ran out of gas while I had it. And I... I found a way to call home and there was no cell phones in those days so I had to walk to find a pay phone and ask my father to come get me and he wouldn't do it. <laughs> he wanted me to learn something from this experience so I would never run out of gas again. Well I certainly haven't done that ever since that experience and when I did get home uh, and I was you know uh, obviously um, had my tail tucked between my legs even after I'd figured out how to walk and get gas and all that stuff is my father told me what did you learn from this? I can, I can still see him looking at me with that intensity that he had. And um, what I try to understand from that experience is that from even the worst experiences that you go through, that was far from the worst experience that I ever had in my life, but you have to learn something from a tragedy. Jeanette, again, lay the game plan out. What do we learn from the tragedy of 9-11? There's, there's a geopolitical message to be learned, and that will be talked about by every speaker who gets up to every podium on 9-11 anywhere across the United States of America, the president of the United States, the governors, and so forth. But the message today is that you take a tragedy, and out of that tragedy you find a renewed commitment to doing something, to, to do something positive for your fellow Americans for your fellow citizens, for your fellow human beings. What was done that day was a horrible thing to fellow human beings. It was to purposefully deliver death. And so now what we hope to do with these activities, whether they're small in scope or somewhat larger in scope, is to deliver a positive message of our common humanity. And that ultimately is a message that will live longer than that day. And if we can find a way to find, again, I go back to your words, we find the unity that we had at that point in time. We're in a divisive moment. We can't deny that. People who hold different points of view are very much at each other's throats. We defriend each other on social media. and We don't talk to relatives that we're related to because of the differences that we have. But that unity can be found if we remember that we have more in common. And when those towers fell, when those people died at the Pentagon, or those people that were on the flight that, that, that did not make it in Shanksville, there was no differentiation by age, by religion, by gender, or gender identification, or your political affiliation. All those people suffered a fate that was similar at the exact same time. So if we're going to do something good to come out of this that reflects a different way to learn a lesson from 9-11, it is down the path that Dan and that Jeanette and Nicole and Tony and Felix have all laid out for us. Let us find common purpose together. VolunteerNewYork.org. Call the phone number that's listed. Find out how you can spend a part of your day, either that Saturday or Sunday or both days if you can. Let's do something good for somebody else, and let's make 9-11 a day to serve and remember. I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive. Thanks very much for watching, and we hope to see you on September 10th and September 11th. Have a good day.